In manufacturing, it's important that you always be mindful of safety in your surroundings. 20 years ago, I was the maintenance manager of an automated punching and forming cell, and I was also in charge of safety. As part of our safety training, we had the fire department come out and we did a live fire exercise with fire extinguishers to make sure we knew how to use fire extinguishers effectively. So one day, me and one of my guys had to disassemble this 12-foot pneumatic cylinder that had become contaminated with oil from our compressed air system. So we laid the cylinder on top of a conveyor belt system and pushed a bunch of red shop rags through it to get the majority of the oil out. And then we used a gallon of acetone that we just started pouring down the cylinder as we spun the cylinder to get the remainder. After we had gotten all the oil out, my buddy looks at me and he's like, well, now we got the oil out, but how do we get this little bit of acetone out? And I said, oh man, that's easy. So I pulled out my lighter, lit the end of the cylinder. And what I didn't realize is that that gallon of acetone that we had dumped into the cylinder had all poured down into the conveyor belt system and it pooled in the bottom of it. So as soon as I lit that cylinder, two foot flames just burst out of every single hole in that conveyor belt system. I mean, the belts were smoking, the steel was turning red hot so me and my buddy start freaking out he had the quick thinking to grab a pile of the oily rags that we had just pushed through that cylinder and throw it on the fire to try to smother it so of course all those rags instantly caught on fire which caught a 24 inch digital caliper on fire so i grabbed the digital calipers i'm waving it through the air throwing fiery rags my buddy's knocking all the other fiery rags off of the conveyor belts and we still have this acetone fire going so we both end up grabbing compressed air guns and we were able to blow the fire out. So after we have the fire out, me and my buddy are standing there and he goes, Barry, turn around. And right there, three foot behind us was a fire extinguisher mounted to the wall. The point is, had we been aware of our surroundings and had I not stupidly lit the end of that cylinder on fire, we could have either avoided that whole fire completely or we could have at least put it out quickly and effectively. Stay safe out there.